I'm here in New York City for REIT Week 2019, NAREIT's Investor Conference. Joining me today is Glenn Rafrano, CEO with Very. Glenn, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me, man. Now, the first few months of 2019 have seen an overall increase in store closures throughout the retail industry, but not within your portfolio. How has the defensive nature of your company's portfolio helped reduce your exposure to these, these closures that other people are seeing? Oh, happy for that, but first I'll start with that. There, there have been over 6,000 closures, which is a lot, but you know, I would say there are 3,000 openings, so there is a little balance here. Uh, Companies that have closed, Payless, Jim Beret, Charlotte Rouge, we don't have any of those. They're mall-oriented companies, and we have very few, we have no mall-oriented tenants. Uh, Shopgo was a big one. Uh, we had one, one small one. So, so we, we have fared well. A uh, uh, few reasons. We are, our retail are discount and service-oriented, and, and those have been a little immune. Not totally, but, but a, a bit. The other point I'd make is the primary retail in our company comes from uh, one of the acquisitions ARCP made, Coal Capital. Uh, Coal at that time uh, was a non-traded REIT, or had funds for non-traded REITs. Had very good underwriting, very conservative underwriting, good long-term credit underwriting. So I attribute a lot of the benefits of our portfolio to that acquisition of Coal, which brought very good tenants that have uh, uh, been uh, very well accepted in the marketplace. Right. And picking up on the, the acquisition front, can you give us uh, a little of your thoughts on the expectations for disposition and acquisition activity playing out for the rest of the year? Sure. Well, we, we originally started the year with acquisitions between 250 and 500 million and dispositions 350 to 500. And so we were balancing. And the reason we were balancing is that we're very conscious of our debt this year. We want to keep our debt down. We want to sell assets that we believe long term aren't diversifying our portfolio and freshen up the portfolio with good assets. So that's the, the primary motivation. We will exceed dispositions though because uh, we did announce a uh, joint venture partnership where we will uh, sell $407 million of industrial assets, 80% uh, of which, 80% of that. So our dispositions will exceed acquisitions because of that transaction. And finally, can you touch on the role that JV partnerships are going to play in your company's growth? Well, I'll, I'll uh, I'll particularly go to this one. Uh, it's, it's industrial investment grade. And the reason for us doing it there, I'd say fourfold. First, uh, low cost of capital. We sold it before uh, less than six, which gives us a very good cost of capital to reduce our debt, uh, number one. Number two, investment grade industrial is very hard to buy. Cap rates are very low. This cost of capital is actually less than the public. So with this cost of capital, we have a growth vehicle in, in a property type we really like. Three, it's price discovery. It's sometimes people don't understand what industrial is worth in your portfolio. This gives them some of that. And fourth, it gives us an alternative source of capital to the public, which is always a good thing. Glenn, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Ben. For more information on REIT Week 2019, be sure to visit NAREIT's website, REIT.com.